Hi guys, Squirrel here. Now the good old flat screen 1920x1080 monitor for many years a bastion of PC gaming. But what if you want to increase your immersion in simulators? Or have a viewing advantage in competitive gaming? Or even just have a better viewing experience when watching movies? Well, one option is to buy more than one monitor. You could go for a triple screen setup like this and triple your horizontal viewing space. But triple monitor solutions aren't for everybody. You need three monitors, you need to connect them to a graphics card that has three outputs, you need three power supplies, and you need a desk space for three monitors and stands. You could of course wall mount them as I've done here, or drop them into a dedicated driving rig. But the cost and the hassle just keeps on mounting. What if there was a compromise between the simplicity of a single screen and the real estate of a multi-monitor setup? A few weeks ago, Asus released two new curved gaming monitors, the ROG Strix XG35VQ and the smaller brother, the XG32VQ. Both monitors feature 1800R curvature, a VA panel with 4 millisecond response time, blue light filter, customizable light signature projection, and of course, AuraSync lighting on the back to help you set the mood when gaming. Asus sent me the larger of the two monitors, the XG35VQ shown here. It features a 35 inch panel with a resolution of 3440 pixels by 1440p. That's a 21 9 aspect ratio on a 1440p monitor clocking in at 100 fps. Remember that most widescreen monitors are only 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This is like what you get at the movies. It comes with a well designed stand that offers extensive tilt and swivel and is height adjustable by 10 centimeters. There's a projection lighting underneath which can be customised to shine your favourite logo onto your desk and a handy cable management hole. On the back, there's a circular LED lighting strip and Visa 100 holes for wall mounting. Now if you do want to line up more than one of these screens together, then it has a narrow bezel and that'll certainly help. Connectivity wise, there's a HDMI port which is 2.0 and 1.4 compatible. There's a display port, a headphone jack and two USB 3 ports. On-screen setup has the usual features for an Asus ROG monitor, allowing for multiple display profiles to suit different applications and lighting conditions. Also there's overlaid FPS and a crosshair, and a display widget software that allows automatic profile selection when starting your favourite games and apps. One thing I have noticed is the sheer amount of real estate I can see. Like normally with this game, you have to crank up your field of view to get like the visibility in a room. But with this, I can see so much in a room on just my, my normal visibility, my normal field of view. That extra space at the sides is, is fantastic for peripheral vision. Normally I would use track IR for when I'm driving with a single screen, that way I can look left and right. But with this aspect ratio, as I approach a bend, there's a turning here and I can still see that junction on my left. So it does make me wonder, if you've got a screen this wide, do you actually not need something like track IR to give you that peripheral vision? So normally I start looking left and the track IR points to left. Now I've lost view of the traffic here, but it doesn't take long before I get visibility again. That is actually pretty good. It's not quite track IR, but it's pretty close. I think a monitor like this is absolutely fantastic for a gamer. 1440p resolution is probably the sweet spot right now. Above 1080, 
but not quite as demanding as 4K. If you've got a graphics card that can take 4K, that's great. But when you start ramping up to, say, like 100 FPS, 1440, I think, is the sweet spot. Trouble is, for somebody like me as a YouTuber and a streamer, 1440 and this aspect ratio is not terribly useful. I can't publish anything to YouTube or Twitch in this resolution. Um, the 21 by 9 aspect ratio is too wide. But as a gamer, somebody who's not recording or not streaming, and that is the vast majority of us, this is actually fantastic. This is a great resolution to play in. That is the first time that I've played Eurotruck on an ultra widescreen monitor. I have to say, I'm very impressed. It's not as good as a triple screen monitor, it never will be, but as a single screen setup, that aspect ratio is something special. And 1440p resolution, pretty good. I'm, I'm impressed with this monitor. XG35VQ is definitely worth a consideration if you're after a single monitor and you want that extra viewing space. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time.